Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. Psalm 119, verse 24. Thy testimonies also are my delight and my counselors. If we want God to help us, then we must obey him. If we want God's word to be a source of joy and comfort, then we must read it, study it, listen to it, and follow it. 25. My soul clingeth to the dust. Revive me according to thy word. When your soul is clinging to the dust, it's just about checkout time for you. There isn't much left in the tank, and it probably doesn't matter because you don't want to keep living anyway. Not when your soul is clinging to the dust. But no matter how low we may be, God can lift us up. No matter how low we get, the everlasting arms of our Creator are still beneath us, carrying us. God wants to lift us. God will lift us if we will fill our soul with His Word. His Word is sort of like spiritual helium. You pump God's helium into your soul and you'll be saying goodbye to the dust that you've been dragging in. There isn't anything in this world that can do what the Bible can do for a Christian. 26. I have declared my ways, and thou heardest me. Teach me thy statutes. He declared his ways. In other words, he confessed his sadness because that's what he was. He confessed his sadness. He declared his ways. He told God all about his troubles. It is important to be honest with God. He already knows what's bothering us, but for our sakes, we need to tell him. God is a good listener, and it is helpful to unload our burdens to him. Confession is good for the soul. Plus, God often does things in response to prayers. Sometimes he changes circumstances. Sometimes he changes us. But God does work through prayers. 27. Make me to understand the way of thy precepts. So shall I talk of thy wondrous works. We cannot talk about God's wondrous works. We cannot talk about God unless we understand the Word of God. And we shouldn't talk about God unless we get our ideas from Holy Scripture. Or we may run the risk of misrepresenting Him, and you don't want to do that. We must be careful not to take the name of our God in vain. Misrepresenting him does that. That's why the writer says, teach me your words, God, and then I'll talk about you. Read the word, study the word, and then talk about God. Talk about what you know about him from his word. Study the whole Bible with me at thebibleversebyverse.com, Genesis through Revelation, using my audio Bible messages four complete series. Choose the series, the book, the chapter, the section. Click and listen to be a part of this ministry. Pray for me and God's Word. And click the donate button at the top of the front page at the Bible, versebyverse.com, and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. See you next time right here on Coffee Break.